Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to uh, just show one of the uh, workflows I've found very helpful using Caden Live. Um, just a little bit of a time saver, and it's basically for creating what I refer to, and I kind of come up with my own words sometimes, uh, timeline templates. Now, I don't know, maybe there is a feature in Caden Live for uh, templating on the timeline. If there is, I unfortunately couldn't find it. So what I did instead is kind of build one sort of a process at myself and I'm going to show you guys what that is. So for my video blogs and a lot of the stuff I put up on this channel, it's kind of following the same uh, format and that is this. I have a little intro that I got done up on uh, Fiverr and I usually fade into it just a little, little bit less than that. Probably this much is good and fade into the audio too. I'm not in love with it. I'm probably going to change it pretty soon, but for the moment, it's uh, sometimes I'll splice up the video with the two. So I'm just going to actually copy this because the next thing that I have is a animated lower third. And this is for the kind of, you know, vlogs I do where I'm just talking into the webcam. Um, so I like this one that I got done on Fiverr better than the first one. Um, for, for some weird quirky reason, I have to turn, turn off proxy clipping for it to show up as intended transparent. And... I don't like the positioning. Um, I think the guy put it in the wrong place or maybe that's just the way he likes it, but I prefer to see the lower third come in like here in the bottom left. And I usually change the positioning a bit depending on the what's in the foreground, but this is probably pretty safe for location for it. And um, that's pretty much um, all there is to it essentially. So this is my intro. Then I usually have a few seconds of video, then I cut into the lower third and I can get rid of this because I was just using it for guidance. So now, now this timeline is kind of like set up for me doing a vlog. So then what I go ahead and do is uh, I'm going to save this into, and you, you guys are going to see the inner workings of my uh, video workflow here, uh, video projects and then I've created this folder called timeline templates I just wiped it clean um, so I can create a new one I'm going to call this vlog timeline I'm going to save this and I'm going to go ahead and close down uh, Caden Live now the way I would do this is I would go into now my projects folder timeline templates bookmark uh, this I'm using um, PC Man FM on Ubuntu Linux as my file editor and then I just click into this guy um, I allow it to run through its default program association, right? And let's say I'm doing a new thing and then I just do save as in order to not overwrite the, um, in order to not overwrite the template and I call it my vlog. And now I've got kind of a head start in the process of editing a vlog with the stuff I like to have on it. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to do this, but this works just fine for my process. Uh, and I've built out a few of these to pet for, you know, different things that I'm commonly editing. And it's one of those little things. It's definitely, you know, a small time saver, but it's very tedious uh, to have to repeat the same process every time. And this just makes that job a little bit uh, quicker. Thank you guys very much for watching this YouTube video. And if you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a great day.